Welcome aboard the National Geographic Explorer. This is a ship that has many, many years, 50 years of experience built into her hull. We've had captains, expedition leaders, chefs, architects, designers, historians, naturalists, all trying to figure out what would be the best possible expedition ship for the 21st century. And we'd like to show you around a little bit and hopefully we'll have the chance to welcome you aboard her one day. She is an extraordinary ship. A lot of work went into her. People who have been involved in the expedition business for decades put in uh, their thoughts, their experience, uh, and I think without question we have the finest expedition ship afloat anywhere in the world. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about her more specifically. The Explorer was built to very, very, very high ice standards. She is a, essentially a tank. She can move through very, very thick ice. And then she also has forward-reaching sonar. We can look ahead of the ship and see if there are any obstacles. So what this does, it provides two things. It provides safety and it provides opportunity because there's lots of places we want to go and we don't want to be any more limited than we need to be. On any ship, uh, the bridge is where the decisions are made. That's where the navigation takes place, of course. And I think one of the unique features of the uh, National Geographic Explorer is that this is not a place that we isolate from you, our guests. This is a place where you're welcome to come and talk with the officers, learn about navigation, understand any aspect of the ship you choose to learn about. Just below the bridge uh, is a room we refer to as the chart room. That's facing forward. You have direct access out to the decks so you can come in from the outside, you can be sheltered. We have coffee, hot chocolate and things there. Great in the polar regions uh, when you're looking for polar bears or looking at ice capes and what have you to come, to come in and out of the ship. Many people like many different kinds of rooms, so we have lots of different choices. They're all extremely comfortable. We have uh, 80 different cabins on the National Geographic Explorer. We have plenty of rooms for singles, and so there, you know, we have different sizes on different decks, but every one of them is incredibly comfortable. One thing that we have on the Explorer that we have not had on any of our other ships are many, many rooms with balconies. It's really, really nice to be able to go out on a balcony and, and see what's going on outside, and so that's, that's a great feature. Food. Well, when you think about it, we spend a lot of time eating. We have three different places where people can have their meals on the ship, and of course the outdoors if the weather permits. We really try and make food part of the expedition. I mean, food is in fact culture, history. It's interesting and diverse, of course, and, and what we try to do is find ways to bring in aspects of food uh, from different areas that we travel and make that part of the expedition experience. Wellness has become a uh, more and more of a thing that people are incorporating in their lives in one form or another. And when we built the Explorer, we decided to build a very extensive and very beautiful and very efficient uh, wellness center. We have a sauna, we have massage rooms, and the gym is probably the most beautiful gym I've ever seen because it's all glass enclosed and so you can have a, a full view uh, of everything around you while you're exercising. Many years ago, we introduced the ability to, to kayak safely in polar regions. We have 36 kayaks aboard the National Geographic Explorer, double kayaks. And for many people, uh, kayaking amongst icebergs and penguins and such uh, winds up being the highlight of their experience. On the very top of the ship is a, essentially a glass-enclosed room which houses uh, an area just to sit and have conversation and also a very extensive library. And it's a great place to sit because you are totally connected with the outdoors. The main lounge is really the heart of the ship when it comes to gathering all of us together to have talks, to see films. It's also where we have our main bar and it is a, an incredible room. It's beautiful, but it's also very well thought out from a technological point of view. We have an underwater specialist on board that dives and takes incredible footage of things that he or she discover. And then we have something that really takes us much, much further. It's a remote operated vehicle, an ROV. And that can go down up to a thousand feet. We've actually discovered new species that science didn't know about with the ROV, which is uh, really quite extraordinary. But at the end of the day, above all else, is the human community. Welcome to the continent. There you go. Yay! The officers, the crew, the expedition leaders, the natural history staff, the historians, they understand the vision, they understand the mission, they understand what's important to you as a traveler and us as a company. If you need to get away, you need to get refreshed, you need to get re-energized, I can't think of anything better than going on an expedition. Mm -hmm.